So today, I'll be calling out the Guarantee Trust Bank called GTB uh, because of the poor services of the new GT World app. And, and let's get this straight. I've been a customer of the GTB Bank uh, since 2008. I've had savings account, open current account. I had a dumb account with them. So I'm not doing this because uh, I have anything against them. But I think the last time I called out Zenith Bank, I think their services improved. And I will really, really wish that you can like, share this video so that they will see this thing and fix their new GT World app. So, if you want to see the details, let's jump right in. Okay, welcome back again to Smart Deport, and I'm so excited to have you back on here today. Um, I've actually ranted about this before in that the new GT uh, World uh, mobile banking app is a little bit confusing. I mean, the UI, UX, I mean, how do you move from this to this in a single update. You know, you just lose track of everything. You start relating every features. You're looking for the basic features you use. You won't see it. Um, and you know, when it comes to UI UX design, it could be subjective. Some people will say, oh, I like the new app more than the old one. There's better UI design and all that. But when it comes to functionality, we can all agree that there are many functions, useful function in the old GT World app that is not available in the new GT World app. I could mention a few. Now, you can no longer go to the list of your um, beneficiaries because I use this a lot. If I've sent money to someone, I save the beneficiary and then I'll be able to recall to check it next time. Not just that, you can when you even see beneficiary, you can no longer customize beneficiaries. So when it comes to this function lacking on a new uh, app, it becomes a problem. So um, when I just really became pissed off about this is that uh, last week, if you're following me on YouTube here, you know, last week I did a live where I flashed custom ROM. So when you flash a custom Android ROM, your phone will become like new because it will get a new Android ID. And that means that every app has to be reinstalled. And then when I you know, downloaded GTB Word, the new one from the Google Play Store, I wanted to install it again to make transfers and I was stuck. I was stuck, you know, the first one, you have to put your phone number. After your phone number, it will, you know, want to search, 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 bring out information for you to put your password, uh, you to sign in and you are thinking that will be it. <laughs> it will send you a one-time password and then you're like, oh, that's it. And then before you know it, it will request for your BVN and uh, when you put your BVN, sometimes it will fail, sometimes it will go. Then after it actually pulls out your BVN information, <laughs> and there was a time you actually told me that my BVN is incorrect. <laughs> Maybe network issues or whatever. And then when it pulls out your BVN, then I'm stuck. I can't go beyond that verifying my BVN or the next step. So I can't log into the app I can use the app. I can't make transfers. And it's so frustrating. And so when it became this frustrating, and this happened to me a little bit the first time, I let it try again, it went through. But now I was pressed. I needed to do a transfer. I have some money there in my GT account. I need to do transfer because I now flashed the new ROM or put my uh, banking app in a new phone. I can't even access it anymore. So, and after all this struggle, 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 I told myself, okay, I have an APK file of the old uh, GTB app, uh, GT Word. So, I went back, you know, downloaded the old APK of GT Word, <laughs> which is the one I actually prefer because that one is, you know, very, very good. So, I downloaded the old APK, installed it, put in my username, my phone number at this time, put in my password for my internet banking, and it logged in like one touch. I, I was like a little bit shocked. What's going on here? And then it gave me option to switch to biometrics, uh, you know, login and, you know, confirmation of trans trans uh, transactions. And I was like, okay, and it worked. And I did a transfer. And then I did that. I downloaded the receipt. I did a lot of things. I was like, okay, it works. And um, somehow I left my phone on Wi-Fi overnight. By the time I woke up, auto auto um, update on a Google Play Store have updated to the new app. And then I say, okay, now that I've updated from the old one, the biggest problem is that if you update your old GT Word, instead of you to have the app working already, you have to start again to set up afresh where you have to put in your phone number, after your phone number, you put in your password again, and you, after putting your password, you have to get a one-time, uh, you know, uh, password uh, SMS sent to your registered phone number, and you think, okay, after that, that is it, then it will request for you to put your BVN, and after you put your BVN, you get stalked. I mean, I tried to reach out to GTB, on Twitter, they were like sounding, I should go to bank and all this. I mean, I was using an app. You know, just look at this. I was using an app. I updated. And instead of me to use an app, I have to go to a physical bank 
to go and fix what was working before. Well, well, what do I do? I have to go back again because of the annoying uh, Android auto update. I have to go back again, reinstall the old APK. Well, logged in again. It worked. Did transfer. It worked. And then I have to go back to Google Play Store. And then I turned off auto update. So with that auto update, I'm going to use this one. Maybe when I have the time or the chance, I have to walk back into the bank. But come on, guys. How can this be? How can someone move from this to this? And then you can't even just update an app and have yourself database signed in because you did an update. You made a new app and stressing everybody out in terms of, you know, logging in, trying in. I mean, come on. Let me hear from you in the comment section. If you watch up to this point, make sure you click on that subscribe button to get videos like this. Uh, GTB, I'm calling you guys out. You need to fix this thing because, I mean, why will I have to come to bank because I updated my app? Why? I mean, come on, guys. Come on, guys. When I started with GTB, it was one of the best banks. I mean, the services were just smooth, streamlined. Maybe you got gotten so much customers or something, but come on, guys. Fix your app. That is the digital life. That is what many people will use. Fix it. Make it easy for people to switch from the old update to the new update. Think about all those things. Because, yes, for me, I'm just using the other app, banking apps that I have for now, and then maybe waiting when you guys will fix this. And that's that. So, um, Hopefully, you share, like, share this video. Let it get to somebody in JTB and let them take a good look at this app. Until I see you in the next one, it's peace. Subscribe. I'll see you.